I'm Dana Hahn Klein here with Jake Gyllenhaal for Stronger. It sounds like you and actual Jeff Bowman uh, have developed this sort of great rapport. What's one of the most interesting things you learned about him through this process? I mean, I, I guess I got a sense of it when I first read the story, but I think just being with him, his great sense of humor, you know, he's got a crazy sense of humor and um, I'm constantly laughing with him. I mean, it's pretty much nonstop. So um, that was an, that's the best discovery, except when he's ripping on me, which is generally all the time. He seems to rag on you pretty hard. Yeah, he does, but um, which is okay, I guess. His jokes are good. Um, so, yeah. Do you ever I'll take it, it back? Do I? Oh, I would never. Never? I would never, <laughs> no. Why would I stoop that low? No. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, of course. Yeah, of course I rip on him. He deserves it. Yeah. It's not your first go around playing like a real character or a real person who you've had the opportunity to meet. How do you sort of make sure that you are presenting a performance but not making it a caricature? I mean, I think, I think behaviorally, uh, you know, there's the outside of someone and how we behave. And then I think there's the whole internal world. And I think in order for you to understand the internal world, you have to spend time, particularly if you're playing a real person like I am in this. Um, it's all about time and trying to capture the essence of someone, you know. Jeff is a contradiction in a lot of ways, you know. He's someone who can handle a lot of, of pain, emotional pain, physical pain, and yet at the same time, I think he has this real lightness and a real sense of humor. So he's not always sitting in one place, you know. He's, he's always back and forth and he's complex in that way. So I just wanted to kind of capture his essence, you know. I, I wasn't really trying to imitate him, but I was trying to capture his essence and I think when that's the goal, um, you know, hopefully you don't, you don't veer too far over into that. You know, I told this, I wanted to be, play him because his story is so moving and I just kept that in my heart the whole time and hope that that honesty would sort of translate. I think one of the interesting things is Jeff, without choosing to, got thrust into the public eye, which is something with your job you have experience with. Was there anything, right. were there conversations you guys had about that? I think it's incomparable, like, you know, I don't think what Jeff went through, the symbol he was made into while also dealing with sort of trying to recalibrate his life, his physical life, his emotional life, his mental life, you know, um, is comparable to what I experience in terms of, you know, uh, attention, you know. But I think both of us do kind of understand the, the, the oddity of it and how it makes you feel, you know what I mean? But uh, the situations are very different. Mine, mine was... a unconsciously at the time, so doing for a long time, chosen, um, and his was not. So uh, that that's a distinct difference to begin with. There's a lot of sports in this movie, and yeah. uh, sports fans are notorious for superstitions. Do you have any of your own? I do I do get superstitious when I'm on the stage, when I'm, uh, you know, I think um, y you, you're, you, you sort of find sometimes when you have like a long run and you're doing lots of performances every week and then you're, you know, doing it for months, you end up starting trying to, for a little while at least, go after the same thing. So you think like if you you walk down the stairs to the stage the same way or you, you know, turn around here and then twice and you did that the performance before and it really worked and then, you know, if you tied your shoes the particular way, I have a weird superstition with my shoes when I'm when I'm on the stage. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. They like always have to be really tight. I check them like four times and I don't really know why. It works. But, I mean, <laughs> It's been okay. It's done me done me well so far. There you go. Right? Yeah. Advice for everyone. Tie your shoes right. <laughs> your weird thing is not my weird thing. That's, that's the real that's advice. That's true. Yeah. I was going to say, I have my yeah. own like, <laughs> writing yeah. related weird things. Yeah. Sure. If you had to write one of those motivational posters or signs that they do have at the end, you know, marathons, uh, what would it say? Uh, where would I be? Would I be in the middle, at the end, or the beginning Any, of the race? Anywhere along the route. Well, it's going to depend. Uh, I let's think. say towards Maybe the end. Towards the end? Towards the end. Um, it, it does suck as much as you feel it does, probably. That's it's probably, honest. Yeah, I like that. I hate the ones that are like, you're almost there. It's doing great. I was like, no. <laughs> this is miserable. It, it must hurt, maybe. That's yeah. what I would say. Yeah. Um, uh, or for my mom. My mom, in my, in my head, it was just like, don't forget to drink water. That'd be like... <laughs> At mile 26. Don't forget Don't to forget. hydrate. Yeah, you know. Very practical. You're full of practical advice right now. Yeah, practicality is important when running a marathon, but I feel like you would probably be able to speak That's, better to that. I suppose, yeah. What is uh, something you wish you had more time for? My life in general. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, probably that. Just, I mean, I don't wish I had more time, I guess. I, I love my work, so, um, but it'd be nice to have a little vacation.
And growing up, who was your favorite fictional child, er, childhood hero or heroine? Wow. Uh, Atticus Finch, I think. Ooh. Probably, yeah. Still Mockingbird. Yeah. Thanks so much. Congrats <laughs> yeah. on the film. All right. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you.